Next, I'm going to hit A to grab our Appearance tool. And under Paint, I'm going to select Paint Animal Glossy White. And drag this one to our body and to our arms. Left click and drag. Left click and drag. And finally, hit Close. Next, going to our Construct Tools and select Offset Plane, going to Right View. And turning on the visibility of our Origin Planes. Selecting our XY Plane. And dragging this one up to here. I'm going to key in a value of 31 and hit OK. And from this plane, we are going to create the eyes of Eve. So selecting this plane, right click and select Create Sketch. Heading up, going to Sketch and selecting Ellipse. I'm going to left click here and left click here. Selecting the center. Next, hitting L to grab our line. Creating a line from our origin going up. Hitting Escape. Selecting this one and hitting X to make this as a construction line. Hitting S and typing MI. Grabbing our mirror tool. For the object, selecting our ellipse. Activating mirror line. Selecting this vertical line. Hitting OK. And let's reposition this one. I'm good with this one. I can now hit Stop Sketch and hit E for Extrude, selecting this Profiles. Now the operation to be New Body. I'm going to turn off the visibility of visor and let's make this one the thickness to be 2 in addition you can also create an extrusion that has strips for the eyes of Eve and hitting OK Turning on the visibility of visor, hitting A, and let's grab a glass material. Let's assign glass heavy color to our visor. So left click and drag and drop on our visor. And let's turn off the visibility of our origin planes and rename body 12 to be I dash right. And body 13 to be I dash left. Next, hitting A once more, grabbing our appearance and searching for other. Now, under other, there's an emissive folder. I want you to select LED LED blue, dragging and dropping I to the I right and drag and drop to I left and hitting close let's now turn off the visibility of our reference image I'm gonna go and change our model to render going to scene settings make sure your background is in environment and hitting close Let's do a test render, hitting Enable in Canvas Render. So looking good. Now if you want to raise the brightness of the eyes, you can always hit A to grab your appearance. Right click and edit LED blue and raise up the luminance. So if I raise the, this up, it will be very bright 
So I'm going to hit edit and lower this one. And slowly, maybe I'm going to input input a value of 1000. Let's try 1000. And hit done. Going back to appearance and hitting close. So in the ray tracer, the more time you enable the render, the more refined the image will be. So once more, congratulations for learning the basics of subdivision modeling, T-splines in Fusion 360, and I hope to see you soon on our next lesson. Awesome.